Hello viewers, welcome to Home Cooking with me, Hema Subramanian. Today's recipe is a dessert. I'm going to show you how to make a very simple mango pudding. So here are the ingredients. I have two ripe mangoes. I have two teaspoons of gelatin, one cup of milk and about one third cup of sugar. So what I'm going to do is just cut the mango, scoop out all the pulp and I'm going to blend it with the sugar and the milk. And you're just going to gently scoop it out. Uh, you can keep the blender with you because you're going to blend it. Just scoop it into the blender. I love mangoes and uh, now that it's the mango season, I would like to make the maximum use of all the mangoes that I can get in this season. So you can make several different recipes with mangoes. You can find um, um, a mango jam recipe on the site, website you can go and check that out. I've made a mango salad as well. A few recipes on mango you can find that on the site. So I've just poured very little water just to cover the um, crystals, the gelatin crystals. So what we're going to do while that's just soaking in the water, I'm going to add this um, cup of sugar. It's about one third cup of sugar to the blender. About one cup of milk. Just going to blend it to get a nice smooth and creamy pulp. So I'm just going to heat the gelatin, I've uh, diluted it in a little bit of water, keeping it directly over the stove. But if you want to uh, be safe, you can always put it in a double boiler. You can see the gelatin is melting very slowly, just keep stirring it. You want to avoid lumps. So I'm turning off the stove, you can see, and take it out. It's diluted, look at that beautifully. So you've got to cool this mixture. Um, the gelatin has come to room temperature, so the crystals should be completely dissolved. You can see, I'm going to pour this into the mango puree and quickly mix it. So if you want a nice rich pudding, you can always um, substitute fresh cream, one cup of fresh cream with milk. This is a very quick and simple pudding, but if you'd like it nice and creamy and more richer, you can add fresh cream. So I've mixed the gelatin into the mango puree. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set it. I have these beautiful bowls here. So for garnishing, once the pudding sets, I will be garnishing with a few pieces of mango on top. Keep it in the refrigerator for minimum one to two hours. So if you want to make it for the next day, like say you're having a party or a lunch or something, you can always do it the previous day. You can set it and leave it in the refrigerator. It's a very simple uh, basic mango pudding, but if you'd like it a little more creamier or richer, you can always substitute with fresh cream. It definitely gives you a different texture, more creaminess to it. So I've poured the mango puree into the bowls and I'm going to set it in the refrigerator for about one or two hours till it sets and then I will garnish it with a few pieces of mango on top. So there you have this delicious and very simple mango pudding. Garnish it with a few pieces of mango and a sprig of mint. Enjoy this mango season with this delicious mango pudding. Do try it and send in your comments and feedback to homecooking at indiantracks.in.